If you want to demonstrate changes in your videos, such as showcasing a test edit for a client, using this technique is the easiest and fastest way to present a before and after comparison. Plus, in this tutorial, I'll show you how to gain more control over the live effect, allowing you to pause it at any point and maintain it in any position for as long as you need. First, place your after clip on top of the before clip. If you want to include multiple tracks like a video and a text plus on top of that, add those into a compound clip by selecting both, right-click and choose a new compound clip. Apply the edge wipe transition to the after clip. Now drag the edge of the transition to adjust its duration to match the full length of the clip you want to showcase. Next, while transition is selected, navigate to Inspector tab in the right top corner. Here set the angle of the transition. Use 90 degrees for a right to left wipe or 270 degrees for a left to right wipe. Now let's adjust the border width once again here in the inspector. You can control the thickness and color of the edge as it wipes across the screen. The final step is to fine-tune the transition curve. This ensures the transition starts and ends cleanly. Set keyframes at the points where you want the clip to cover half of the screen to 0.5. This sets the midpoint of the wipe. To control the speed of the animation, adjust the placement of these keyframes. First, make sure that uh, the transition is selected, then click the diamond icon at the bottom right corner. This will allow you to easily move the keyframes by clicking and dragging. Moving the keyframes closer to the start and end will speed up the transition, while placing them further apart will slow it down. You can also pause the wipe at any position for as long as needed. Just ensure that the keyframe at the beginning of the pause and the keyframe at the end of the pause have the same transition curve value. Currently, we have a linear movement. To enhance the wipe, we can smooth out the animation. Click the small toggle right here to open the curve controls. Now select the keyframe and use the controls above to make the animation smoother. You can further adjust the animation using the handles that appear once you change a keyframe setting. If this video was useful, hit the like button and subscribe for more DaVinci Resolve content.